Okay, here we're here today. We're going to talk about our new uh, field radio. It's a Motorola APX 6000, and the new radio uh, has a lot of the same functionality as our old XTS 5000 uh, portables. However, uh, it, it's got a couple of different quirks that uh, we want to point out. Um, it's hard to tell on this radio which is the front and which is the back. Um, most people would assume this is the front of the radio. However, the speaker on this radio is here. Uh, so that's something you're going to have to get used to rather than being down here like it is on the old radio. Um, the good thing is, is there's a microphone on both sides. So I'm going to start off with talking about what's on the front here. Of course, I just pointed out the microphone. This is uh, your screen where you'll be able to see what's, uh, what talk group you're on and some other information. Your soft keys, your navigation keys, your home key, it does the same thing as it does on our, on our XTS 5000. That brings you back to our main talk group. Uh, this key over here is non-functioning. We're going to have some engraving down here that will tell you what radio number it is. And this is part of the battery down here. On the side of the radio we have uh, our purple button that we had on the XTS 5000. That's basically to uh, acknowledge a radio page. And when I say acknowledge a radio page, it does not acknowledge it to the dispatcher. It just shuts off the noise on your radio locally. Um, and that's really all that that button does. This is your push to talk. Uh, and then your button one and button two underneath the push to talk. Uh, button one uh, turns the backlights on, on the top and the bottom screen. And button two is the keypad lock. So we have your shoulder mic interface here. This is also the interface that they use to program the radios. So it is important to protect this if we can. Um, there is a cover that we have. The cover looks like this. The covers will be available to you. Um, you should be aware that if you're touching this to your skin while the radio is transmitting, you could suffer radio frequency burns um, and those could injure your skin. Um, so if you're concerned about that, you certainly can cover it up with a cover. They will be available to you. Um, if you have your shoulder mic, it's not, not an issue. Shoulder mic looks like this, much like the cover. And the shoulder mic just simply hooks in at the top first. You push down and tighten. Very simple, don't over tighten. You want to be able to do it without a screwdriver. And when you get it loose, just push up and pull it off. The nice thing about this is the radio is not going to break, your shoulder mic is going to break. This plastic tab is going to break and you're going to have to get the shoulder mic replaced because we can't replace these any longer. Um, so you need to be careful and do it with care. The shoulder mic itself very simple, it's the same as our other shoulder mics except for your accessory uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, plug-in is here at the top and they'll be uh, engraved with your number here. On this side of the radio, this is the side that's got the, uh, the speaker, we also have another microphone so it doesn't matter which side you're talking on. This entire thing here is the battery. Uh, the battery is something that's going to take some getting used to along with the speaker location simply because it's different shaped and it, and it connects to the radio in a different manner. Um, there's two squeeze points here and you pull the battery off like so. It slides on and clicks. So battery off and on is a little different on this new radio. It's a lithium ion battery, a little different than the nickel metal hydride battery that was on the other radio. Um, however, this is higher milliamp hours and in our testing it's lasted as long or longer than our current radios even though it looks smaller. On the top of radio, the nice addition that you have here is you have a, a screen that's going to tell you your talk group and some other information. So you don't necessarily have to take the radio out of the holster to see uh, what's on the screen. And then you have all your other functionality you always had before, the emergency button which is active. This is your uh, talk group uh, change uh, toggle. The AB switch here is for scanning. These radios do not have scanning, so this is non-functioning. Uh, the switch down here on the bottom is for encryption. These radios are not encrypted radios, so that is a non-functioning. 
And, uh, and by the way, on the ABC switch, it does not matter which it's on since it doesn't have that functionality. And this is your volume. When you first turn the radio on, you're going to see this flash green, and then it'll flash red twice. That tells you that it's connected to the system. You don't want to try and talk on the radio until you've seen that happen. If you, try, if you turn it on and try and talk immediately, you're going to cut off the beginning of your message. Top screen here is going to toggle between your zone, which is primary. That used to be our A zone, now it's called the primary zone, and our main talk group. So it'll toggle between the talk group and the zone that you're on. It also gives your signal strength indicator, much like your cell phone. And it gives your battery indicator, uh, length of battery. So you get a lot of information off this little screen. You don't have to take your radio out of the holster. On the front of the radio, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you have a signal strength indicator and you have a battery indicator up at the top. At the top it says what zone you're in. In this case it's the primary zone. Your talk group name. And then uh, you'll see your aliases that come up here depending on what unit is talking. Down along the bottom here you have your soft keys. You only have three soft keys you have to worry about on the field radio, zone, channel, and battery. Zone is going to what you click to switch zones and navigate between zones. You have six zones in your radio and we'll cover those with your fleet map. The next one is channel. Rather than using the toggle switch up here, you can actually do it right from here and switch channels within a zone using the soft keys. And the final one is battery, and that just gives you some information on battery life and charge. There is a fourth one here if you're ever asked to go there. If you toggle over far enough, it's called info and that will give you some technical information on the radio that's mostly for the technicians.